many rhubarbs have we eaten? I thought it was like none. And we're hungry. I'll just eat the bread. I'll just eat the bread. Okay. Um, I have the wrong weapons on. There we go. There we go. How's the immunity? It's fine. Not the immunity. I meant the psyche, and it's fine, but we'll still eat the mind wart. We can eat the mind wart, then we can sip the water. That's going to make it even better. It was fine before, but it's going to be great now. All right. And we might even be level three by the time we go home. I really doubt that, but it's it's not impossible. It's not it's not impossible. It is there is a chance. It is doable. And we're curving back. That's what I was hoping for because um if this if this road went off to the left, it wouldn't have been where I needed to be. So this could be where I need to be. This this road might be the the path I need to take. We'll see. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see where where it is. The monastery will show up. If we search, it will it will show up eventually. It might not be, you know, right around here, but it'll be somewhere near nearish by. And I don't think that's it. I think I'm gonna go go off to the right here. I think that point of interest to the left is just Jabate. I think it is just a uh, a deer trail or something, you know, just a random piece of thing, not not an actual uh, not an actual like location, just a random camp or whatever. Ooh, I think this is it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I believe so. I believe that's what it looks like. If this isn't the monastery, I don't know what it would be. So, it's in the area the monastery would be. Looks like a big structure. It's all broken down and stuff. So, the math checks out. Uh, there's a boar, but it's fine. It's fine. The boar is not attacking. It's all good. It's all good. We're far enough away. Just hearing the sound of the boar is like terrifying, man. That is not a sound you want to hear. Okay, this is indeed the monastery. This is indeed the monastery. Just go click over. Click all the way over. Abbey of the Holy Revelation. All right. And inside is an amulet with a hand on it. And that amulet's pretty dang sick. Block dodge and damage taken. It is, did I say that right? Okay, yeah, I did. But it is really good. It's um actually one of the best amulets in the game. It's, it's nearing best in slot. I believe it used to be best in slot, literally. Back in the day, it was the best amulet in the game because it had triple the stats. It used to provide nine dodge, block, and damage taken. Um, 9%, that is. And that's really good. 9% negative damage taken goes really hard on its own. Getting nine block and dodge as well is, like, game-breaking. And didn't it also have, like... Didn't it used to have like fizz res and stuff, not just on a holy res, but like like physical res too? It was it was like giga OP back in the day, I'm pretty sure. Um, very deserving of the nerf. Very deserving of the nerf. And we will go to this point of interest now because I want to find it, and then we're gonna go home up through there. So we'll we'll take out the carpenters that way. Goon has been spotted. There's another dead goon there though, so I'm not going over because I don't know what killed that goon. I don't want to interact with whatever killed that goon. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing people in scary films never do, and I'm gonna walk away from the dead person. I'm gonna walk just walk right away. I believe that negative poison res though. Oh well, so technically it had a downside, but like, other than poison spiders, do you get poisoned? Like you know, like there's not much, right? Um, I guess maybe like can't rats like inflict poison or something? I don't know. So uh, there's there there is a downside to it, but. Overall, I would have I would take the old amulet over the new amulet. The old hand amulet is uh better in my opinion. Snakes, eh, that's true too. Snakes too. So there is some poison, more. But there's probably some other sources as well that I'm forgetting. Poison gas traps, yeah. So there there is some. There is some. Harpies, yeah. There's there's a few. There's a few. But I still uh, the the stats were easily worth it. The hand amulet was like super super good. It's not bad now or anything. I'm still happy that we went and picked it up. Um, especially if you're going for like a a really a really tanky build, like that's going to make use of the, the block and the, the damage reduction. I mean damage reduction is like everyone, of course, but but if you can get a lot of value out of the, the block and damage reduction, I think it's good. And then early game, you can't you can't really avoid having some dodge, you know. Um it's there's just not heavy enough armor in the game to give you like negative dodge, so the dodge helps a little early. Where is my dodge? What's it up to? Yeah, sixteen percent, and that's that's with like no effort made to to get any dodge. You know, that's just that's just natural. So, an extra three percent there is not bad. Extra three percent there is it's it's a little bonus. Now 
close to level three, are we? Yeah, no, we're not gonna get level three by the time we go home. I was thinking maybe, maybe it was a possibility. It is not a possibility, but that's fine. There's no need to be level three by the time we make it home. I just was checking. Oh, no, 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 leave me alone. Okay, that's the point of interest. We found it. It is some bees and I am not fighting them. Bees are terrifying. Bees are way too spooky. Like 11 k cigarettes. What is, what is, what, what, I can't remember. Do they reduce stress in Zomboid? Do they, do they remove panic when you're, when you're, when your character is feeling panicked? Do they remove that debuff? Is that the, uh, the effect of cigarettes? And then also follow up question. Can you become addicted to cigarettes in the game? Can you become a smoker? Anxiety, okay, okay. But it doesn't remove like that panic debuff. That panic debuff sucks. I remember getting it and being like, no, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. My character just sucks now. I'm just freaking out. Because my character was my character was freaking out. I was freaking out. It was a it was a negative cycle, chat. It was a negative cycle. Smichael. Cycle. Can you smoke in stone shard? No. You can do drugs. There are other drugs you can do. None of them are smokable though. Um, there are some drugs that you inhale, um, in various ways, uh, and of course there's alcohol and stuff to drink, but there, there's nothing that you smoke. Smoker trays a huge buff to them. Smokers get rid of panic, I believe. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe that's what I was thinking of. I mean, addicted though, playing Zomboid, just thinking to choose the beginning. Oh, okay, okay. So, so if you, if you, if you choose smoker as a trait, then, then, you know, you need them. Or whatever, but you can't. You can't pick up the the addiction via you know habitually smoking throughout your playthrough. That's that's reasonable. And the mods with server has adaptable traits. Oh, that's cool. Um, I like that. That's cool. The server. Are you are you playing on the same server, Cloud? Like I know I know previously you were like one of the last people alive on your server. I feel like. Um, are you like? Did you like come back as like a fresh character on that same server or how did, or did you like go, how does that work? Um, like did you, when you die, are you just popping back in as a level one? No, everyone died. Oh, okay, okay. So when everyone died, they shut it down and then you started over. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. So that's cool. Put everyone back on an even foot and stuff, you know. We have Iron Man's, let's go. That is good stuff. Okay. And speaking of Iron Man's, I've been playing some RuneScape, chat. I've been playing some RuneScape, and it's been a really good time. I've been having a blast playing the uh, RuneScape League. It's been super good. I have I have stats that are higher level than I've ever had in my life. It's it it is crazy to see. Um, I am not willing to put in the effort to play RuneScape on the regular game. It's too much time. Um, like I I just I won't do it. I won't, I won't put like 2,600 hours in or something, like, you know, thousands of hours to like max out an account. But in leagues, it is way quicker. It's like 40 times as fast to do everything. So I've been having a good time with it. Leagues, oh, it's the, so there is, it's, uh, there is a temporary game mode in RuneScape that, that happens um, every every so often, every like couple of years, um, where where they give you an incredible amount of power and they, they, they add some restriction in. So in RuneScape, there's like maybe 10 different areas, um, like, like you know, just land masses, and they're, they're, you know, chunked into, you know, just different, like, you know, like the kingdoms that rule it or whatever. And you can only go um, to, to a maximum of five of the areas. So you get a lot of power, but you have to, ch voice broke when I said power. You get a lot of power, but you have to choose where you want to um, play the game. You don't get access to the actual whole map. So you have to, you know, you sacrifice like some stuff that's only available in some places. But, um, so it's really, it's a really good time. It's very fun. If anyone here plays, you know, pl played RuneScape growing up and has some like nostalgia for it and has any interest, I would recommend checking out Leagues 4. So it's an event that's running for uh, two more months. It just started, so it's two months total. So slightly less than two months from, from now. But it's, it's a good time. Wishing to, which game you were playing? Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, Leagues. We were playing, we were definitely playing Trailblazer. Um, there's no shot I was, that's, there's no shot I'll play the regular game. Too much clicking and too much like time. Look at where to put 2k dog tags, not a clue. Uh, in the trash, in the in the, in the bin, maybe. Throw them away. I don't I don't know what you would do with 2000 dog tags, honestly. Saying throw them away is kind of a joke, but it actually might be a good idea. I don't know what you would do with all that stuff. Oh, it's currency. 
Oh, you actually have to store your money? It doesn't, it doesn't like, become stackable or something? You can just pocket it? It's not like bottle caps? Um, where, you know, in theory, you would need a place to put 20,000 bottle caps, but it's just, it's just, a, it's just there. It just appears. Replaces just many different currencies. That's so cool. That's very cool. That's fun. The server you, you play on in Zomboid seems great. It seems like a, a dedicated, um, like, very, like, cool, cool, like, group of, uh, group of folks. Like, they're, they're, they're down to create the world and stuff, so. That's, that's, it, it seems like a really good time. I was used to since the next military base. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, where's the road? There is a road, right? Yeah, where's the road? Doesn't it go to the left? It does. All right, so the, the, um, the carpenter's plane should be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some dudes. I don't want to fight all of them. Three is slightly too many. Yeah, we can fight him here. This is this is a really good little 1v1 spot. I was gonna- No! I ruined it with a step forward. I keep doing that. I was gonna go to the next tile, is what I was gonna say. Uh, but then, it's like the spot. I found the amazing spot. But then I, I ruined the spot. But whatever, it's fine. We won, we won. And we got our first little- We got our first little bobble from, from our, our skill tree. Um, sure. There we go. That's that's five durability. That doesn't matter much right now, but over a long time, that'll that'll matter. Over quite a long time, that will be very impactful. Okay, we will take this, read the notes. Um, I can get rid of one of these, one of them, yeah, the two brokey ones. Go like that, take that, that, and sure, it's like one coin, but sure. Why not pick it up? It's a coin. It's better than nothing. It is better than nothing. Louisville uses money in basically anywhere we'll accept cigarettes or an on-the-spot trade. I, I figured bartering was the main way to trade. Like, you would just show up with what you have. Okay, if you don't need any more, sorry, I came late. Oh, no problem, no problem. Um, And yeah, we already did that quest. We, we, uh, we, there was the burned water mill. Um, so we, we were able to pick up the swords in route to that. So this is actually, like, a really solid start. Like, we, um, normally I don't do this much, like, like, starting prep. Uh, I do, I do what I consider to be, like, a lot of starting prep, but not quite this much. But we did, we did a lot of stuff on this one. Because we, we've yet to, st we're, we're almost level three and stuff. We've yet to do a dungeon. Um, we've, we've still just wandered around. We haven't even stolen from the town yet. Uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff. Like, plate armor in this game? Yes, there is, Mr. Tarvin. Um, you, you don't gain access to it until, uh, your higher level. You need, you need to be respected by the cities for them to sell you the, the thick armor. But, um, this is a Gambison, and then under where it says Gambison, it says common light chest piece. There are, um, light, medium, and heavy armors. And uh, the heavier armors incur a negative energy penalty. So, like, this shield probably has one. Yeah, this inner, the shield, uh, the, the bottom line of text within the um, the stat the stat chunk, the middle chunk of text, um, says energy and then negative three. So heavy armor has a huge negative energy penalty, and your energy is what you spend to do your, your skills, of course. Basic attacks don't take any, any, any energy at all, but your skills do. Um... So the heavier armor you wear, the more energy you, you need. You, you need some way of maintaining energy. Be it, be it energy drain, like energy steal on damage, like de uh, stealing a percent of the damage you deal as energy, or um, or just getting a, a huge amount of energy and energy restoration, which is what we're going to do. When I put a point in vitality, I get four energy and then 2% energy restoration. Um, so in your percent energy restoration, the higher your percent energy restoration is, the more frequently you will get energy back, because currently it's at every four turns. But if I had a huge, huge amount of energy restoration, in theory, I could get that down to every single turn, and then I would get a, a little bit of energy back every turn. So we are going to go heavy armor on this build. Um, the plan is for this build to be rather heavy armored, but we that's going to be like way, way down the road. Um, because again, the, the shops won't sell me the heavy armor. Um, just simply, they just they refuse. I'm not worthy of it, essentially. And also, um, my character couldn't couldn't wear it. I would have no energy to do anything right now with it. So, um, but there is some really really thick armor, and it's cool looking. There's some really like beautiful armor too. There's value two dogs for canned food. Fifty circuits for one, or one money for two canned foods. Oh, okay. So money is the best. Money is like the rarest of all the, of all the currencies. Money is the best currency. That adds up. That sounds about right. And we don't have an ID scroll for this, so I'll just throw it down. I was hoping he'd have another one by the time we came back, but he didn't. Um, is Bran here? 
Yeah, I'll sell him this 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 alcohol if he can afford it. Eight bucks? What? I I feel I feel I feel like I should just give him the alcohol, man. I've I I've never I've never seen him have only eight bucks. That's like that's rough. Brand's Brand's having a rough week out there, man. I I feel bad. I was even trying to get money off the guy. We will sell this stuff to the bar, though. The, the bartender was doing a little better. They they can they can they can buy it off me. And I'm gonna keep the meat. It's pain medicine. The thing I find kind of funny is that lots of people I'm having this medicine plate. It's just armor, just heavy and clunky. In fact, you can run around and do hand, uh, handstands and backflips in them. I mean, yeah, that's the same thing with like um like swords or whatever. Um, they're they're much lighter than people think. It's it's I even like when we were playing Battle Bros. I, like when we started playing, I was like, "Oh, this sword! I bet it's pretty heavy." And I was like, "No, it's not. Of course, it's not." Chat was like, "No, it's it's a light weapon." Um, sword, sword. If they were heavy, you couldn't swing them around. But um, in comparison to like you know, a a a um like a leather glove, I'm sure the metal gloves are you know more cumb more cumbersome, just physically heavier if nothing else. Even even if you do have the same amount of like dexterity. Okay, is this good medicine? One more of those. That's good medicine. That's good medicine. Oh, no, no, here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking, Chad. Now we're talking. Okay, so we need to sleep, and then we will get our first quest. We will we will sleep, and then we will get our very first quest of the character. It's only, it's only been like 30 years of wandering around, but that's all right. We didn't steal anything. We'll just wait till nighttime. We will find, we will find a, a, a time to steal stuff. It'll happen eventually. There's tons of shops, Kenku's and that valuable up there. Okay. An IRL notebook of trade routes. That's so cool. That is so cool. I like that a lot. I like stuff like that quite a bit. I think that is really, really cool. Okay, let's go to bed. It's bedtime. It's probably like 5 p.m., but whatever. Look, look, I'm an old, I'm an old geezer. I go to bed early and I get up at like 3 in the morning, which is literally what we're gonna do. Um, so we could steal now, actually. It is it is a, a good time to wander around stealing before we pick up that quest. Because it's 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 the dead of night. If we were ever gonna steal now, now is the time to do it. So we will we will indeed steal. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay, okay. Take the cabbage and we'll eat the cabbage. Cooking pot, sure I'll take the cooking pot. Shout out to Necron. Lord of Cabbages, King of Cooking Pots. Ooh, two. I'll take two of them. I didn't mean to take the plate, though. Or the bowl. Whatever. That thing can stay behind. I'll take an onion. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Server search to make games is the only people who, are, who, who, who take it seriously are around. Yeah! I, be, I bet very early, you know, there's a lot of casuals. Um, and then very late, there's probably, you know, it's tough to maintain, like, the player base. But uh, mid-game, I bet it's really good. Go Rot Mace, it's so much fun. No, I'm going Shield Mace, Frag. I'm going for the shield mace. I do agree, right on target mace goes really hard, but we went right on target for the last build, and chat said shield mace, so I'm going shield mace. But yeah, I, th I think the mid game is often the most fun for like um, a lot of games, just games in general. I think I think mid game is where most most games tend to shine. You know, early it's like a little bit of um, like a. You know, you're you're just you're just you know you're you're limited by your lack of like skills and stuff. You know, you're a weak character. Um, and then late game, you're often you know you're you're too powerful. So I think I think for at least for me personally, I really enjoy the mid game. You're you have access to skills. Your character is still gaining power at a decent level. Um, the the game is throwing new and hopefully exciting challenges at you and stuff. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of the mid game of most games. That's that's really where I I, I get the most enjoyment. And we will get the quest here. We didn't steal everything, but we stole, like, some stuff. I'd recommend it, but it's insanely modded. I think we're up to 300 mods. That's a lot. Jeez. I'm shocked it's even stable. Does it crash? Is it stable? I guess that is an assumption. It might not be. Uh, but is it? does it crash, like, all the time? That's, like, a lot of mods. Okay. Okay. Did we steal? Oh, we did steal from down here. All right, so we got a quest. It's decently stable. Okay, well, I mean, you know, that's that's. I would have uh, three hundred mods. I'd assume the game would never open. I would have assumed that the game would simply not be able to make it. But chat, this is where we're gonna close it up today. This is gonna do it for the stone shard. Thank you all for hanging out for the stone shard this morning, everyone. It was really nice to get back in the stone shard. It's been a long time. I'm sad our dagger build died. <laughs> like that was 
It, it, it was entirely my fault too, but um, the Kingsguard go hard. The heroes, the skeleton Kingsguard go really hard, so it is what it is, but thank you so much for being here. I hope everyone had a good time with the stone shard. I sure did. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.